biggest photos tell a story. Cranky with Matilda. Cranky with Matilda. Smiling without Matilda. This photo in particular tells the, the story truth of beverage drinking futility because they can't pick these up with hooves. But also, who leaves drinks on the floor? Offensive bucktooth emoji sticker. Being offensive isn't the sin, but rather the existence of emoji. They made Derpy the new ditzy. As fan appreciation grew, Derpy made her first vocal appearance in season two's The Last Roundup, but unfortunately, due to mistaken voice direction, legal issues, overbearing political correctness, Derpy was censored in future airings of the episode, which caused fan outrage and inspired a movement rallying around her. It was largely due to this immense support that we saw Derpy return later episodes, but it was this appearance here, which is the culmination of over half a decade of fan support that we finally see in here. Derpy in all her wall-eyed, muffin-loving glory. Maybe the castle's not so bad. It did bring us these middle finger jokes after all. Dr. Hooves is another background pony early bronies became attached to, giving him the headcanon of being the doctor from Dr. Who. This episode clearly runs with that concept as he talks about time travel, has an appropriate accent, wears a bow tie, the fourth doctor. Superfied <laughs> nose boop puts the fandom's booping ingenuity to shame. Vinyl Scratch, aka DJ Pone 3, is another fan favorite background. Electrified nose no boop puts the fan on pooping to do addition to new vital spread. Only had a five second appearance in season one. Once a riff for six rats, and just like to rip a friend's quicker camera. <laughs> Be expecting a horse is our glue joke, but this sin is actually for borderline. <laughs> Do we know what?
the, the, when you wish do we know what the 